SSPCPA2 contains three definitions that are critical to understanding the measurement of coating thickness on structures. They include gauge reading, which is a single instrument reading, spot measurement, which is the average of at least three gauge readings made within a one and a half inch diameter circle, acquisition of more than three gauge readings within a spot is permitted, any unusually high or low gauge readings that are not repeated consistently are discarded. The average of the acceptable gauge readings is the spot measurement. The last definition is area measurement, which is the average of five spot measurements obtained over each 100 square feet of coated surface or portion thereof. An area is defined as approximately 100 square feet. Within each area, five arbitrarily spaced spots are selected. Each spot consists of a one and a half inch diameter circle. A minimum of three gauge readings are obtained in each spot which is called the spot measurement. Unusually high or low gauge readings that cannot be repeated consistently are discarded. The average of the three acceptable gauge readings is a spot measurement. The total area will have a minimum of 15 gauge readings, for example, five spots with three gauge readings per spot. The number of areas that must be measured for coating thickness varies depending on the size of the coated area. There are three categories of coated area, including less than 300 square feet, 300 to 1,000 square feet, and greater than 1,000 square feet. For areas containing less than 300 square feet of coated surface, every 100 square foot coated area must be measured for coating thickness. For areas of coating from 300 to 1,000 square feet, three random areas are selected and measured. For areas of coating exceeding 1,000 square feet, three random areas are selected from the first 1,000 square feet, plus one additional area for each additional 1,000 square feet. Because areas of coating often exceed 1,000 square feet, our example will be based on this third tier. Let's assume that the total coated area is 12,500 square feet. A total of 15 areas must be measured three in the first 1,000 square feet, and one additional area in each remaining 1,000 square foot area or portion thereof, in this example, 12. This culminates in a total of 75 spot measurements and a minimum of 225 gauge readings. If spot measurement variances result in area measurements that do not meet the specification, then additional spot measurements are acquired, radiating outward in eight directions from the non-conforming area to determine the magnitude of the non-conforming thickness. If there is no place to measure in a given direction, then no measurement in that direction is necessary. Spot measurements are obtained in each direction up to the maximum surface area coated during the work shift until two consecutive conforming spot measurements are acquired in that direction or until no additional measurements can be made. But how do you determine the specific thickness range that must be adhered to? For example, if a specification requires 8 to 12 mils, are spot measurements of 7.9 and 12.1 mils rejected, or is there some leeway? Many users are familiar with the SSPCPA2 guidance that 80% of the minimum and 120% of the maximum are acceptable, provided the total area being measured is within the specification limits. The most recent version of SSPCPA2 addresses this and other options in a coating thickness restriction level table. The table from the standard is shown here. Level 1 is the most restrictive and does not allow any deviation from the specified minimum and maximum thickness for either spot or area measurements, while level 4 allows the spot measurements to underrun the specified minimum by 20% and overrun the maximum thickness by 50%. If no restriction level is specified, then level three is the default level. For the purpose of final acceptance of the total dry film thickness, the cumulative thickness of all coating layers in each area must be no less than the cumulative minimum specified thickness and no greater than the cumulative maximum specified thickness. For example, assume that the specification requires a four to six mil application of primer. The actual minimum and maximum spot and area thickness requirements are shown for each of the five restriction levels. SSPCPA2 also provides guidance on the number of spot measurements to take on structural members, like those in a fabrication shop. 